My name is Gary and I work as a programmer analyst for a local water utility. I am responsible for maintaining and supporting our customer information system. My typical day involves receiving um, support requests from users whenever their process has not run right and analyze the configuration in our CIS system to see where the issue lies. For example, users typically do things um, the same every day and when something doesn't go quite right, they rely on me to help them figure out where the problem is with their process and get it to completion. Sometimes this involves having to know each person's process and finding out where the breakdown is from file creation to file uploading and uh, updating. Every once in a while we will have changes in our policies and procedures that require me to reconfigure and set parameters to our CIS system to meet those needs. Our CIS system is a complicated system and every now and then we will get um, circumstances where we're just not able to explain the outcome of some of the programming and it is my job to go in there and figure out what the system has done and make necessary corrections. There are varying levels of stress associated with this position but most stressful is when we're working under strict timelines and the system is giving error codes and we have to get them diagnosed and resolved. Typically my day is Monday through Friday 8 to 5, but in today's IT world and the integration of our many systems, sometimes I may get called during off hours to expedite resolution before the next business day. A person interested in this type of work would need to have a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Information Science or a related field or a combination of education and work experience. In addition to the educational and work requirements, one needs to be a team player. Have good communication skills because you're working with others and you're trying to each, you know, resolve problems. Okay, the best part of this job is the flexibility. It's like I am pretty much left alone to, um, you know, handle my own schedules and um, my task as long as I am producing the results. The worst part of this job is you're dealing with different people and different personalities. It's not always easy to make everyone happy. Some final advice would be to realize that you're working with a lot of different people. You're not just confined to your own little cubicle. You are working outside with other people within the organization. And in addition, I would encourage you to continue to learn and to continue to pay attention to all of your courses, math and English, as well as your core CIS uh, courses, because you will, learn, you will apply all of them in the work environment. A CIS degree is not easy to obtain, but stick with it, and after the long road, the rewards are worth it.